up everyone, it's Kitten Singh and The Mandalorian, the first ever live action Star Wars TV series is here and let's talk about it. I think The Mandalorian is really setting up a great story to tell. Seeing how it takes place after Re Return of the Jedi, I was going to say Revenge of the Jedi for a second, and the Empire is still around, and we see the Mandalorian, the Bounty Hunter, and IG-11, and all the how the system is right now with this backwater planet, or system of planets, I should say. What's going on is so amazing because it's telling us a story which you don't often see, at least not in a visual medium like a show, or even on the big screen, you don't often see this. You see parts of this in Star Wars The Clone Wars, the 3D animated series, but now we're really going into it, and with live action actors and everything, it's really cool to see. The CGI is pretty much spot on for this show, considering it has a huge budget, it's what I would expect from the show itself, and the characters are enjoyable for the most part. If you don't know much about Star Wars, you're going to be very confused by what's going on because they're talking in depth. They're not really holding your hand through it. They kind of are. They're like holding it by like one or two fingers and they're guiding you through it somewhat. But most of it is like you got to pay attention, you got to know some other things and then you pick up on what's going on. And that's not a problem because I really enjoyed that and that also made this show feel less like Star Wars in regards to the Skywalker saga and more so Star Wars as in an expanded story. While it still had this empire, you know, mention of Mandalorians obviously, and other species we know and we love from Star Wars, the Skywalker saga and other continuities from the Skywalker saga branch, this felt different enough that it felt like Star Wars but it also didn't. And that's what I really loved about it. The action was pretty good, the music was fine. I enjoy it. Really, can only remember the music for the end credits, and also the part where um, the Mandalorian is taming the creature and whatnot. But otherwise, the music was all right at best. Um, the show is visually very stunning, as I've always said. The action is entertaining. IG Eleven Taika Waititi as IG Eleven was something I was very unsure of because, you know, he I don't know if he'd have the voice for the robot like the other droids do. The IG Eight. IG series do, but he pulled it off and it sounds really good, it's very entertaining, and um, I found the ending to be very interesting with the um, creature from Yoda species being there, um, obviously it's force sensitive, and we can really just, you know, get excited for what's to come. So with the first episode of Mandalorian done and dusted, I am really happy to see what the next episode entails. I'm a little worried still because this first episode didn't blow me away. It was what I wanted. So that's why I'm giving it a solid 8 out of 10 for episode 1 of The Mandalorian. Let me know what you thought about the episode down below. Are you actually watching the series? Are you not going to bother? Or are you just waiting to binge it all once it comes out? Nonetheless, let me know in the comment section down below. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel for more videos. And until next time, I'll see us.